One of these men will earn themselves a shot at the GTFP middleweight title in this eliminator. The following contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and is brought to you by Hard Life Fightwear. It's time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with a record of two wins and no defeats, representing Artes Suave Denmark, it's Patrick Christiansen. And his opponent standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. This man has a record of two wins and one defeat. Representing First Legion, it's Greg Williams. Well, Brad, amateur middleweight title eliminator in the red corner, Patrick Christensen. 2-0 fighting out of Art Suave, Denmark, and he faces First Legion's Greg Williams. Both these guys on two fight win streaks. The third one guarantees them the amateur middleweight title shot here at GTFP. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, absolutely. Always good to see the middleweights in. Got that speed of the lighter weight classes, but got that stopping power too. Now, both of Williams' fights, both of his wins come from KO. Yeah, I think we've seen Williams before here at GTFP. Immediately closing the distance with the Art Suave man. Now working on nice knee to the body from Christensen. And what an opportunity for Christensen here to come over from Denmark. Get a scalp and a title eliminator and set himself up for a title shot early next year on what's going to be the biggest golden ticket fight card to date. Absolutely. Williams working hard to try and reap that leg. Swaps it up to the double. Yeah, interesting tactics here from Williams. I was expecting him to come out, start throwing those haymakers, but perhaps a more measured game plan. And perhaps with the prestige here involved in this title eliminator, he's having a second thought. Spend a bit more time at the drawing board and a little less time on the heavy bag. I, again, he's being relentless chasing that takedown. Perhaps, you know, perhaps that is the game plan. If you've watched footage, you know, if, if Christensen's watched footage, it's a lot of heavy fists, a heavy... So maybe this change is absolutely on purpose. Good head control from Christensen on the inside, just controlling the upper body. A couple of knees going in to the midsection. And Christensen hasn't looked too troubled with his back against the fence. Nice body shot there from Williams. I mean, there's plenty of gyms known for that kind of game plan, keeping their back on the cage, just wearing the man out early on. Still unable to complete a takedown is Greg Williams here. Trying to pick the ankle now. I mean, working really hard for the takedown, and that's keeping Christensen working. But now, really cranking on that neck. Yeah, used that underhook really nicely. But again, Williams in tight. But you know, when it, when it comes to the judges' scorecards, we are not scoring defensive techniques here. Greg Williams is winning this round by virtue of the fact that he's the one instigating, he's looking for the takedowns. Oh, the, the, this is, this, this, the fight is taking place where he wants it to take place. At the moment. I know he wants it on the ground, but the cage is the next best place for him. Yeah, it's difficult to call it really effective grappling, but then it comes down to aggression and cage control. And that's where Williams is winning this round. Let's see what Christensen can do here. With a brief period of control, he's not going to have long. Can he make it count? Well, I think Christensen has played a game there. I think he's he's waited, he's waited. And I think Williams is a little bit tired, and Christensen taken at full advantage of that now. Keeps, keeps working the knee to the body, both with his back on the cage and from this position. Maybe he's looking to take the gas away from Greg Williams. Ooh. And Williams has, has dropped to his knees here. I'm not entirely sure. Holding, holding his head? I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. No, I'm, I'm afraid I didn't see Brad, so we'll leave it up to the Neil Hall and our medics to, to sort it out. I'm, I mean, I, I don't really want to speculate, but I, I, the, the only thing it could be from, from the angle I've got was 
was uh, some kind of accidental eye poke or accidental headbutt. And the doctor's in, just examining Williams at this point, and He's Christensen has been allowed to go back to his corner to receive instructions. So we, we are we are very firmly in the uh, in between round period. If this was during the fight, uh, Christensen would have been sent to a neutral corner, and it's waved off. It's over. Doctor, the doctor saying. Doctor says no, uh, and Williams now remonstrates. He's got his eye closed. You, it must have been. It must have been a, an eye poke of some kind. Williams now remonstrating. But if, look, if you tell a doctor that you cannot see, the fight is over. Fighter safety is of tantamount importance. It's the only thing we're interested in. Yeah. At the end of the day, we want these guys to, to go home safe. Now it's going to be up to Neil Hall to determine. Whether this was uh, an intentional eye gouge, or uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm, it would have been accidental. I'm going to throw my two cents out there, Brad, and say this is no contest. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I'd like to see it again. Oh, for sure, for sure. It, it, it looked to be uh, an interesting contest brewing, and uh, Christensen obviously clearly upset. dejected there. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can get a word from referee Neil Hall uh, just to confirm what the ruling is with this one. Uh, we just spoke to head referee Neil Hall. Accidental clash of heads uh, caused that, I uh, believe, an eye injury to Greg Williams. Therefore, with just one round in the books, it's a no contest. Disappointing for both fighters, disappointing for both camps. Ladies for the contest and gentlemen, that we hope your to see appreciation again. for our fighters in the cage this evening. And this contest has been brought to a halt by the doctor and the outcome a no contest due to an accidental clash of heads ladies and gentlemen and one that is certainly set up for a rematch your appreciation please for both patrick christiansen and greg williams